The instruments that I play is a saxophone, I got a soprano saxophone, which is a straight one, which people often confuse with a, a clarinet or um, other, other things, maybe a flute, and the tenor sax, which is the traditionally curved one, which people are more familiar with. I play the guitar, which the guitar was my first instrument. I started playing when I was five years old. I play bass, play a bit of keyboard, and also can hold down a beat on drums. I wouldn't really say that I was a drummer, but I can hold down a groove on the drum. I'll play for you. Whether you're playing in front of people or whether you're at home by yourself, music is has the ability to transcend. It takes you somewhere else, and it's a an opportunity to release your who you are inside, to release your gifting, to sometimes release frustration sometimes to express joy sometimes to express express anger it's 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 a, a point of release whether whether it's the saxophone where you're actually blowing or whether you're playing the guitar and you're singing a song or playing the keyboard and singing a song or creating music like i do as in production creating the whole putting all the different pieces together it's a it's a it's a form of release and releasing what's inside of you so you can see Life varies because sometimes different things get in the way, but I essentially it's every everyday thing. I remember watching years ago watching a video with a um, well-known American saxophonist called Kenny G, and somebody asked him, "How can I improve on my saxophone playing?" And he said, "I'm gonna tell you three things: practice, practice, practice." And you want to improve, you want to engage and connect with your instrument, so it flows naturally. It's not a a struggle or a strain practice gets you to that when you stand up you know sometimes you see somebody do something and they make it look so easy but it's not easy it's because they've been practicing and practicing and for me maybe I'm, it, it because of how long i've been doing it but it's not hard work it flows it, it's like I, I like to have my guitar beside me when i'm working on the computer and sometimes i might be doing a design and i just well, I take a break from the design and pick up the guitar and strum a few chords. So there's that element of it where it's just something you do, but then there's the practice, practice to because you want to get something right that you don't know. So it's important to just to to make it a daily part of your daily routine to to practice and practice. It's hard to narrow down what is my favorite instrument. I started playing guitar when I was a kid, five years old, and that was my first ex my experience and exploration into music. But there is something sometimes when you're playing the sax, and I think it's probably because you, when you're blowing, there's a different expression when you're when you're communicating and releasing the sound through the saxophone. There's something special about that. Sometimes you just get feel something different to to. So ultimately, I would say I favour the sax over the guitar if I'm going to actually say okay, I'm going to go for one or the other because. It, because of that expression of blowing through it and what it how it connects with who you are your your the very breath of you where I am and obviously because of the nature of the instruments that I play you can't play the saxophone quietly I, I'm conscious of my neighbours and I've lived here a long time but and neighbours have come and gone from either side but during that time I've never had 
a complaint. I've never had a knock on the door saying, could you turn it down? I'm trying to sleep or anything like that. I have my own personal cutoff where if I'm playing or rehearsing in the evening, I will stop by nine o'clock the latest. I won't, I won't be playing the sax after nine. But so that's so there are no issues with the um, saxophone and neighbors. Other instruments, guitar, keyboards, you can plug in headphones. So I've, I've been fortunate and blessed where I haven't had that knock on the door. Or I know some people have council issued orders against them because the neighbors have complained against them, but I've been blessed where I haven't had that problem. Stay together, loving you. Music is one of those funny things where you can hear one song by an artist and it does nothing for you. You can hear another song and it moves you and you don't know what's what's inside your mind that makes you connect with that track. But there is a particular, I would say, genre of music that moves me more than others, but I'm not narrowed by it. But I'm, I'm a soul man, really, essentially. Artists like Bill Withers, Marvin Gaye, Al Green, those are the artists that really move me and really connect me in and in inspire me and influence how I sing and what I do when I write my own songs. Yes, I've got lots of other influences because you I hear you hear things all the time whether you somebody's playing music or whether you're listening to radio but those three artists I would say I would say stand out for me and in and inspire my sound and how I express myself and how I communicate myself. Anybody who is thinking of to learn to play an instrument, if you've got the, the first thing you need is desire. You have to have a desire within you. And it's no shame to, to, to um, play, to, to go for what's within your budget. There is always the high end in the market for instruments. Start off with what you can afford as a second hand shops are a good place. Sometimes you can really go in second shops and pick up some, some quality things that they don't notice the quality of it when, they, when they've got it in their shop. But whatever instrument it is, start. One of the things that's available now also, again, le having lessons is sometimes prohibitive because of the cost of them. I would say use YouTube from beginners to advanced to, to wherever level you are. You, but particularly if starting off, there's lots of great videos showing you how to play the basics of the instrument. I've I've seen it with guitar. I've seen it with saxophone. How to put your your mouth in your mouth. So don't be think put off by instruments, but by the the cost of lessons or by the the cost of quality instruments. Start off where you where you can with the budget that you have. <laughs> The thing you can learn from my music or what you be looking to learn from music I think is a variety of different aspects of what I do if you engage with it. There are what, what some might call silly love songs but they might speak specifically to relationships that you've been in or relationships that you've known from other people but further than that there are songs of encouragement where you, you are facing challenges in life, you're facing discouragement in life and there are songs which are encouraging you to be determined to, if you've fallen down, to get up and to keep going. There's a wide variety of topics that I touch in the lyrics of my songs but also that my music will move you, I think, in in some ways. If you just hear the music, there's something in there that will encourage you. I, I, I'm all about people moving forward and advancing themselves, educating themselves, learning more, but having a connectivity with what I'm doing that, that pushes them forward, that even if 
it's in a song it's a is there a lesson in a love song is there a lesson in in a song that is about healing and wholeness and there are a var variety of topics that i write about and, and touch on and um i hope that by engaging with what i'm doing that it will touch people and and, and make them better for engaging with it rather than feeling that this has made me feel down i i want i'd want the opposite from what i from what i do because that's what i put into it i put my heart into it i put my energy into it i i get ideas to to do songs there's a song that i have which is called destined to succeed which is about challenging you to not just settle for where you are but to to rise up and to and to succeed in the in life challenges and life has many challenges but to to succeed in life so that's what i would hope that would happen for those who engage with what I do.